Redefining your career, especially into a field like data science and machine learning, it's complicated. You probably already know that. So what I want to do is give you some guidelines of, first, in this video, how do you do this? How do you create a framework for redefining your career into something like data science? So the first thing that you need to understand is, obviously, you need a concrete goal. But what does a concrete goal look like? Uh, First things first, you need to understand the role that you're targeting because in data science and machine learning, the roles are in flux, constantly changing, and there are a number of different roles now and a number of different directions that you could go in. And if you try to be a generalist, if you try to shoot at, well, maybe I'll do two or three different roles, you won't be successful. It's too much. There's uh, there's no way to learn all of that in really any feasible way. So look at it from this perspective. Do you want to go into data engineering, machine learning engineering? Do you want to do data science in an actual research sense? Or do you want to be a model developer? Do you want to go the product management route? There are tons of different directions that you can go in data science and machine learning. They have fundamentally different learning paths. They are also, some of them are long-term growth trajectory roles, whereas roles like data engineering are under threat from automation. So there's a number of things to look at and factors to consider when you look at what role you want to aim your redefinition at. So the next thing is the industry. You have to pick one. Industries, again, if you try to be a generalist, you're not going to appeal to any particular job. And industries all require both domain knowledge, domain expertise, as well as some fairly niche skills in order to achieve the use cases and build the types of solutions that those companies expect to understand some of the most common use cases that exist. And so those are things that are going to direct your learning path so that you're successful in landing that first job. Company size is also important. In a startup, you could be wearing a number of hats. You could be asked to do a lot of different things, but you are going to be able to get in with a lower bar of capability. And so there is a significant amount of learning on the job at a startup, whereas at a very large company, especially one that has mature data science and machine learning teams and practices, you'll be fairly well-defined in exactly what it is that you do. And so you'll be able to specialize better. It's important to understand what type of company size and even maturity for the company that you're going into when it comes to redefining your career. Products, what do they build? And this is very similar to industries, but within a given industry, you can have a range of different types of products that are produced. So you want to look at what products do you think you want to support? This, again, will direct your learning path and make it easier for you to get ready for that first job. Now, finally, customers. What types of customers are you going to be supporting? Because supporting a business, if the customer is a business, we call it B2B, if you are supporting a business customer, that's completely different than supporting an individual customer, B2C, where you're creating products for an individual uh, those are very, very different. You can also be supporting internal customers. You can be building efficiency products or doing automation primarily. That's a different level or a different area of focus. So you want to look at your career and say, okay, what role, what industry, what company size, what products, and what customers? That will help you really narrow a lot down and focus what you're going to be learning on it. So now talking about, talking about the learning path, and I like to break it down this way. Now that you have those concrete goals, first thing you're going to do when you look at a learning path is the capabilities that you need to develop. And so think about what are you going to produce that touches products, company size, it touches everything that I've defined in that last piece, understanding your capabilities. So don't go all the way down to the ground floor first. Think at the highest possible level, capabilities. What's it going to take to do your job, to produce the outcomes and work products that companies expect? Second, now break those capabilities down into skills. What skills do you need in order to produce 
those products in order to support your capabilities, to build out those capabilities that build out those products that lead to those outcomes. Now, now you can go into learning. So what do you need to know in order to have those skills, in order to possess those skills? You're at the point of knowing what classes you might want to take, what curriculum will be most relevant to you. And this is the framework to really get to this point. And finally, proof. Part of your learning path is going to be proving out your capabilities, supporting the fact that you can actually do the things that you've learned how to do, that you can apply what you've learned. You don't just have knowledge of data science. You have the capability of, and again, back to that outcome, but you need some sort of proof in order to land the job. And so part of your learning path is not only learning, but also proving that you're capable of doing what it is that you say you can do, of landing that role that you're targeting. So you need a timeline. Uh, this is extraordinarily important. It's offer over, often overlooked. Now that you've built all of this out, now that you have some concrete idea of what it is that you're going to be doing, learning, how long is it going to take? Create a realistic timeline. Don't look at six weeks. It's not going to be six weeks. So look at it realistically. What is it really going to take? And evaluate whether that's feasible because part of reestablishing yourself and redefining your career is deciding whether this can actually work. Can you spend the amount of time it's going to take in order to get proficient and build out these skills and capabilities? Is there a feasible path for you to prove out your capabilities so that you land that first job? Is all of this feasible? Is the time it's going to take something that you can, that you can do, that you can handle? And finally, along the same lines, what is this all going to cost? Very rarely can you learn to be a data scientist for free. There are a ton of free resources out there, which is amazing. But at some point, you're going to need paid classes. That could be a degree. That could be a combination of boot camps and self-paced learning. There are a number of options, but at some point, there is a cost associated with any learning path. Again, back to feasibility. Is this something that you can do? Can you afford it? which unfortunately is a consideration. But when it comes to that equation, think about whether or not your employer will pay for some or all of your learning path. Many do. So that's something to look at. Evaluate the costs, evaluate how long it's going to take, and then you can commit to it, knowing everything going in and not being surprised halfway through by some piece. Now, this is just the beginning of a series. You can feel when I talk about learning path, a lot of this is, uh, that was fuzzy. So how do you figure out what capabilities you need? The next videos in this series, I'm going to look at jobs and say, okay, so you're going for this job. Here are the capabilities required to do this job. And here's what you would need to learn in order to be competent, in order to possess or learn those capabilities. So you can redefine your career in that direction. So I hope you come back and join me for those videos where I'm going to get into a bit more detail and help you go from here's the role that you've selected at the company and support the industry and supporting customers and products to this is specifically what you would have to learn in order to qualify for this role.